In the last clip I showed you how to take away by counting backwards, but that's not always the best method to use. Sometimes it's better to find the answer to a subtraction question by counting on. And the reason we would count on is if we're taking away a larger number. It's easier to count on from a large number to get your answer than it is to count backwards taking away the large number. Let me demonstrate. 208 take away 180. In this method, I'm going to count on from 180 to 208, and that will give me the answer to the difference between these two numbers. To do that, I start by writing the number I'm taking away on the left-hand side. And I draw the number line. And I write the number I'm counting up to on the right hand side. So I'm now going to find the difference between these two numbers. Notice the smallest number is on the left and the large number is on the right. So that's the order of writing numbers that we're used to going from smallest to largest from left to right. Okay. So how do I do this when I'm counting on? I look for a number to count up to first, which will make it easier then to get to my target number. And the number I should count up to next will be the number 200. And the reason I've chosen 200 is it's because it's the next multiple of 100 after 180. It's very easy for me to add on from here to get to that number. So that's what I'm going to do. I add 20 to 180 to give me 200. Then I need to think what I need to add to go from 200 to 208. So I'm going to add 8. And the answer is 28. So you can find the answer to a subtraction question by counting on as well as counting back. And the choice you make depends on the size of the number you're taking away. If you're taking away a larger number, it's always better to count on. You get to the answer much more easily. And that is how you subtract by counting on using a number line.